Hey everyone, <laughs> my name is Victoria. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Vic's Backyard Chicks. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel and watching this video. Um, here you can see I have Jupiter. She is our starlight green egger. She will one day give us beautiful green eggs, but unfortunately she has been pecking at the other chicks. Um, we just got five chicks a few days ago and um, I love them. They're great. I've already been attached to Jupiter, but um, unfortunately she is being very aggressive with the other chicks. It is normal for chicks to establish their pecking order early on. Um, right now she's about two and a half weeks old. All five of them are. Um, and while it's normal for them to peck at each other, they definitely should not be drawing any blood. And unfortunately, Jupiter here has drawn blood of two chicks already. And once they start attacking the blood, it's like they keep going at it and they could potentially kill each other. So Jupiter has been put in um, chick jail. So I just wanna show you guys what I did, how I set that up, because you still want the chicks to be near their flock and be able to see them and hear them. But obviously if she's, if you have one that's gonna keep attacking like that, you can't let them kill the other chicks. Um, I did contact the breeder and I let her know what was going on and she was so nice and helpful, but she basically gave me two options was to either, this lighting looks better, was to either isolate the chick from the group um, where she could still be seen or just isolate her in general. But I feel like isolation in general without being seen or heard would be too traumatic on the chick um, when I do have the option to isolate her and be seen. And the second option was for me to return little Jupiter and get another green, uh, starlight green egger. But I mean, ah, we've bonded already. Oops. Oops. We've bonded already. And like, I don't know. I just don't have the heart to get rid of her. I'm already committed. I've already bought her and I just want to raise her and I want to make it work and I know it's going to work out and um, we'll just have to keep a close eye on them when they're all together and then integrate them when everyone can hold their own. So I'm going to go take you guys to um, my brooder box and I'm going to show you her little chicken jail and um, yeah so okay so here is our brooder setup. Um, I do have a video with my full setup in detail. Um, I will link that below. But basically, I do need to clean out their water and stuff. But inside of their bigger brooder, I do have this smaller um, plastic bin. And basically, what I did was made a little jail. So as you can see here, I have some hard wire mesh cloth so Jupiter can still be close to her flock. Um, and of course I do have food and water in here for her. Definitely important. You want them to have food and water, you want them to have warmth. Okay guys, so I'm gonna try to get this as best as I can on camera, but as you can see, here is the chicken jail. <laughs> um, you can see here the mesh um, hard wire cloth here, separating the girls. Um, the heat lamp is here, so um, Jupiter has the opportunity to get closer to the heat or if she goes on the other side over here, she can get further away. Um, it's a little chilly the next few days where I'm at, so she will definitely be fine and I'm checking on them a lot. She does have her own little bowl of food. So sad. And she does have a bowl of water right there. I did deep dip her beak and make sure she knew how to drink water. And I am making sure to give her um, electrolyte water because she's probably under some stress. Um, for all the chicks, I do give them the electrolyte hydro hen every two days, every, or I switched out from fresh water to the electrolytes every couple of days. Um, so yeah, and make sure like your chicks don't, can't get stuck or anything on the sides. The girls on the outside, they love to perch on it too. So I'm gonna pull this actually a little bit closer from the edge because I had to get one out of there. Um, <coughs> but anyway, there she is. 
she still has plenty of room. Um, and of course I let all the girls hang out together. I just don't want to give Jupiter the opportunity to just constantly peck at the other girls when I'm not around. So she actually got, let me show you guys in this next clip. So this right here, this is Sweet Pea, our Buff Warpington. And you can't tell right now, but this, there it is. She was pecking at her and she was bleeding quite a bit more than this. This is already like healing up and dried. And that's not okay, um, poor girl. That's not okay. Like chicks will peck at each other and they start establishing a pecking order. But if blood is being shed guys, like you need to step in and do something about it because they can kill each other. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Cause they can kill each other and that's terrible and i don't want anyone to experience that i'm going to show you our other girl we need to name her she's healing up too but look at that terrible peck mark that's pretty bad um i feel terrible i didn't notice it earlier but this is our queen leg bar she got attacked by jupiter this is pepita who keeps trying to jump out Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. I'll link my video to my brooder. Um, and earlier in the video, I you could see in the background my bigger chicken run with the bigger ladies. And I'll show you that Amazon. Um, I'll show you that Amazon link as well as the link to that video reviewing it. Um, we bought it with our own money and we're not sponsored or anything like that. So it was my review of the run. Hope y'all have a great day. Thank you for watching my video. Go ahead and give me a like and a follow if you want to. And um, yeah, see you next time.